housekeeping. Well, throughout the 80s and 90s, you more than likely paused your remote on the Nashville network. We recently got the chance to sit down with someone who was there from the beginning, Whisper and Bill. Take Hi, I'm Bill Anderson, and this is my TNN story. And I'm weak. No, we're not going to play Bill. We're going to play Fandango. Okay. Hands on your bells. Good evening, and I hope it's nice and warm wherever you are. I first heard of TNN several months before it actually launched. A man named Elmer Alley, who worked for years at Channel 4, called me one day and asked me to come out to his office for a meeting, and I didn't really know exactly what it was all about. And he starts telling me about this projected country music channel that's going to be called the Nashville Network. What a great audience. Thank you. And I'm glad you've joined us out there by your TV set. Well, we had a five-time winner on our last show, which means we've retired a champion. And he knew that I had had some experience hosting game shows in California. I had just come back from doing... 26 grand and glorious weeks hosting a show called The Better Sex with Sarah Purcell. Hello, Eddie. Hi, Bill. I'm Eddie Bell from here in Madison, Tennessee, and I work for a Nashville-based gospel group. How many water boys do you have left? Delilah. One. That's absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> when we started Fandango, I think the grand prize was two mops and a, <laughs> and a bottle of Windex or something, you know. I did the show for six years. And by the time we were, were in the home stretch with it, we were giving away cars and boats. These fabulous prizes on the all new Fandango. 40 Pontiac Sunday, Regal Ski Boat, Ms. Deluxe Susie Kruger. We have Solid Gold, Famous Last Words, Weather Report, Singing Double, and there's Edgar. Mm, warm and windy. Alan Reed, who produced Fandango, came up with the idea of having a talking jukebox on the show. People who don't remember Fandango remember Edgar the Talking Jukebox. <laughs> Dorothy Smith from Virginia must have known that Blake was going to wear this today. Why? She sent me this joke. Two men were taking a ride through Africa. One of the men said, look, John, I spotted a leopard. John said, no, Sam, I think they come that way. Marty Stewart and this lady sitting next to me, Connie Smith, you looking forward to going back to the Rhymer? Absolutely. I love That's that. That's where place. it all started for you. The Opry backstage shows on Saturday night, which were live. I think that may be what I miss the most. What was that half hour that I could just visit with the viewers and talk to the Opry stars who would come in? Four guys seated next to me, how they spent the Christmas holidays because they spent Christmas the, the cowboy, cowboy way. way. So they did. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing to, to see that old logo, the belt buckle logo with the head of the guitar on there and see the Nashville network popping up on, uh, on TV screens again. I watch it a lot. It's fun to go back and watch all those old shows. And along with Bill, all of us here at Channel 4 are thrilled that the National Network is back. You can watch all your favorites over the air on Channel 4.2, on Comcast Channel 230, on Charter Channel 91, and all across the country on Dish Network.